After what feels like countless attempts, I was finally able to super cool water. Keep watching to find out how you can do this too. But first, let's talk about what this property even is. Supercooling occurs when water, or another liquid, reaches a temperature below its freezing point, but does not become a solid. So what happens with supercooling is that um, you can still do the same thing. You drop it to a very cold temperature. But the problem with supercooling is that there is nothing to start the crystal. And crystals are the kind of thing that grows on, they grow on each other. And so if there's no place to start the crystal, then those particles will just move slowly past each other and they won't actually stick together to form the crystal. This is what allows water to reach very low temperatures, but not crystallize at all. It will stay a liquid unless there are particles to latch on to. Um, a lot of the videos that I see show the outtakes and show how it's really hard to get it right the first time. So um, one thing is it does have to be pure water. It can't have anything else in it. And like I said, if you just use your tap water, that has all kinds of stuff in it. So you have to make sure that it's actually distilled pure water, just purely H2O. So we need to limit the amount of minerals or nucleation sites. And that is why my first couple of attempts did not work. I was using spring water, which can potentially super cool, but it's not likely. It's full of minerals, which you see in red in the picture, and that activates crystallization, which is shown in blue. I ended up switching to Fiji water, which worked a lot better because there aren't as many impurities. The last thing is when you take it out of the freezer, any kind of little jostling will, will allow the crystals to start growing. So if you slam it on the table or jostle it at all, it'll actually, you can see the crystal grow up through the water bottle. In the absence of nucleation sites, liquid water can still turn into ice. We do this by adding energy through moving the water bottle somehow. I just did it by banging the bottle on the table. The molecules can then arrange themselves into a more rigid structure. You can leave the bottle in your freezer for two to two and a half hours. Mine ended up needing a little under two hours. Remember to remove it very carefully. It's still a liquid at this point and any jostling will start the crystallization. And that's it. Thanks for watching Strange Science.